Welcome to the Art Ovation Hotel. I'm Lisa DeFranza, the cultural curator here. Today we're going to walk through the painter Robert Doyen's exhibit called Walkabout. Robert Doyen calls himself a Swiss artist's knife because he has so many tools in his pocket. Early on in his career, he designed for museums, theaters, and amusement parks. So he sees the world from all these different angles. And something interesting about Robert Doyen is that his father was an identical twin. So his father became an engineer and, he, and Robert's uncle became an artist. At every birthday, his father would give him engineering toys and his uncle would give him artist toys. And so you can really see the fusion and that balance in, in his work. We'll look first at this canvas behind me called Weave. This is a recent canvas, 2019, and you can see that Robert's precision painting of these little dots begin to form DNA-like patterns. So if you follow one color, it will give you one strand of DNA. It's very particular. It's his engineering mind meeting his artistic mind. In his 2018 canvas called Free Weave, Doyen paints his colored dots in random patterns scattered all over the canvas. And you'll see that this is the constant back and forth in Doyen's work between the patterns that he created in the DNA forms of Weave and the random explosion that happens when he focuses on his artistic side and really wants to shake up those patterns. You can see it in the canvas right here. This is a 2019 canvas called Mirror Twins, and it's a tribute to Robert's father and his uncle, the engineer and the artist. And you can see that these two panels forming one piece, it's a diptych, really, really resonate off of each other. So the left panel has the deep burgundy back painting, and the right panel has the royal blue, and each framework has the complementary color popping out in dots. But if you look toward the center of each canvas, you get a sense of the softer quality of Doyen's work. You get a sense of the more painterly wisps of memory of these two men who clearly had such an influence on him. And this is both a tribute and again, an effort to find balance for himself as the artist who has part engineer and part artist in his very DNA. This piece, Mandala for the Disappeared, was created in 1998, and it's very different from anything else in this exhibition, both in its artistic form and also in its content and its ideas. As for artistic form, it's created on a circle of gator board. Mounted on that circle of gator board in the outer perimeter are toy figures shrouded in rice paper. In the center of the circular figure, Doyen has painted an image. This is what he's calling the mandala. It also looks very much like the human eye. And on, on that human eye, you can see reflected these figures that surround the circle. It's very intentional that Doyen calls this a mandala because while he's grappling with his own experiences as a, as a veteran, he's also asking us to meditate on those experiences and to feel our own sense of resonance with, with his. 